Love them or hate them, spiders are fascinating creatures. And no one knows spiders like Corvink. And he tells us why he's produced a new book on New Zealand spiders. Well, the last key to the families of spiders in New Zealand was published in 1967. And um, so it's a bit out of date because the family names have changed and there have been a lot of taxonomic work being done there mainly, um, in New Zealand, mainly by Ray Forster since that time. And so, um, so I thought it would be nice to update it and it's something I've wanted to do for 10 years or so. And uh, one of the limiting factors was illustrations because I can draw a bit but um, you know, I wasn't able to draw that well. And so um, six or seven years ago I was doing a postdoc in San Diego and I happened to be in the same lab as um, Piapa Khan who's you know, the senior author and Nadine as well and um, and so we sort of got to talking and thought let's try and do this so we did it. It's certainly not a field guide because you need a microscope in order to use it so because um, most of the spiders are quite small or the structures that you need to examine are quite small so it's more of something that you can use in the laboratory next to a microscope after you've come from somewhere like this and sampled spiders um, and the idea is that it's it's a book that takes you through the families so you know what families you're dealing with and then gives you all the available references to all the available literature so you can then go further to try and identify things to species and we've also included illustrations of the more common species as well so for those sorts of spiders it's more of a one-stop shop Course says the book is aimed at a wide audience, from ecologists to university students to people working in border security and anyone just interested in spiders. And he says it also has international appeal. I think, I think the book's of interest to, to people outside of New Zealand as well because New Zealand, we have uh, our spider fauna is 93% endemic, which occurs nowhere else, and the spiders we have here are particularly interesting and very interesting groups, so, so I think it's useful for overseas people as well. The illustrations are, I think, a, a really key feature of the book, and Nadine is, is you know, one of the world's best at illustrating, and, and the remarkable thing is, is, is you look at one of her illustrations as you're looking down the microscope, and you actually realise that she has illustrated something exactly perfectly, you know. They really show you what you need to look at, and, you know, she's, she's been recognised worldwide by, for her abilities. She was even used in a movie once. If you've seen the movie Salt, you may have noticed some of Nadine's amazing drawings on the wall in Evelyn Salt's apartment. For more information or to order your copy of Spiders of New Zealand, go to www.mwpress.co.nz.